In the USDA's latest crop progress report, the corn dough stage was reported at 73% completion, up 20 points from the previous week. The latest progress is ahead of the five-year average of 60%, as well as last year's progress of 65% at this time. Corn dented was reported at 21%, up from 9% the week prior, and on par with the five-year average. The corn condition was nearly unchanged, with the excellent category grabbing just one point from corn rated in good condition. Soybeans blooming are up to 95% in the latest report, just a few percentage points ahead of past progress benchmarks. Arkansas is the sole state reporting 100% completion of this phase, with 10 of the remaining 17 primary production states reporting 95% or higher. Soybean setting pods are reported at 80%, jumping from 69% the previous week. And lastly, the soybean condition was unchanged from the week prior. For continued updates on the 2016 growing season, subscribers should click on the news link in Comtal. In other news, Erna Berry Newswires has released the pre-report estimates ahead of this week's cattle on feed report. Here's beef market reporter Gary Morrison with the details. The USDA will release its monthly cattle on feed data Friday afternoon. And analysts predict on average for the number of animals in the nation's feed yards as of August 1st to be up 1.3% from a year ago. Placements, or young cattle entering the feed yards for July, were projected to be 0.4% below the year ago figure. And marketings, or those sent to slaughter, are predicted to be down 0.7% from the 2015 number. July had two less weekdays, but two more Saturdays this year versus a year ago. For more on the Erner Barry Newswire survey, subscribers should click on the news link in Comtel. Thanks, Gary. Next up, poultry market reporter Terrence Wells brings you the latest data on turkey exports. Despite disappointing export market values, one bonus that June brought with it was an increase in export volumes of turkey as compared to last year. Slowly but surely, and certainly fueled by price, exports are making a comeback. The latest FAS data shows that June's worldwide turkey export volumes were up about 14% from last year. Regionally, only East Asia and the Caribbean advanced above 2015, led by Hong Kong, Japan, and the Dominican Republic, respectively. Despite help from Mexico, limited participation by Canada led to a decline in North American exports, while trade partners in Central America and Africa were hurt because of the currency and oil money relationships in play. Thanks, Terrence. That concludes today's show. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Prospector Online is a must-have tool designed to help you explore and evaluate new business opportunities in the protein market. Customize searches based on a specific criteria that fits your needs. Call or email us today to learn how you can unlock the possibilities at prospector.earnerberry.com.